Hello viewers. The lesson we are going to work on today is how to set the multimeter to use in measuring diodes. Many people they don't know how to use a multimeter to measure diodes, and that is the purpose of this video. Yeah, with me here, I have a multimeter that has so many functions. This multimeter is capable of measuring the resistance of a resistor. It's capable of measuring DC voltage. It's capable of measuring alternating voltage. It's capable of measuring alternating current. It's capable of measuring DC current. Capacitance of a capacitor and inductance of an inductor. So here, it's equally capable of measuring the voltage drop, full voltage drop of the diode. So if you want to set this multimeter to measure continuity or to measure uh, the diode, the full voltage drop of a diode, you set a multimeter. And here, we have the diode. So I put on the multimeter. After setting the multimeter to measure diode, we will go directly to measure a diode with it. Okay, we are directly going to taste this electronic circuit. We take this junction diode and this Charlie diode. Now, to take this, this junction diode, the positive is going to be placed on the anode. The negative is placed on the cathode. Now we see it is reading 533.34 millivolts. For forward voltage drop, and we put positive on the cathode and negative on the anode to see that it's an off circuit. Means this another diode is okay. It's so that this diode is okay. It's an OPN motion diode. So that is okay. So that this is okay. We go now to this Shaolin diode. Show me that with a P band shape. On this diode, there is a, a closed loop that hits you. Discover that there is a color band. This color band is used to identify the cathode. Where there is no color band, it is used to identify the anode. Look, all of them have color bands. Cathode, anode. Cathode, anode. Cathode, anode. Same here with the Shaolin diode. Anode, cathode. Anode, cathode. Anode. Cathode. So I shall put a positive terminal on the anode, negative on the cathode. And I see 292 millivolts of a circuit. So thanks, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and share.